Welcome to our FB page at sa ating YouTube channel na Parihong Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, let's answer a question from random post na hindi natin i-reveal kung saan ko nakuha ito or, or kanino galing ito. Pero malamang galing to sa isang estudyante pero alam kong makakatulong rin ito sa mga nagtitake ng civil service exam, yung mga pang-college entrance test or yung mga scholarships na mga exams. The quotient of two fractions is two-third. If the divisor is 5 over 12 less than the quotient, what are the fractions? So, isa-isahin natin to. Ang pinaka-problema naman sa karamihan ay kung paano ito gawan ng equation. Kapag sinabing quotient, ibig sabihin mag-divide tayo. So, mayroon ditong division. So, the quotient of two fractions is two-third. Ibig sabihin, yung two-third na yan, yan yung mismong sagot sa dinivide na dalawang fraction. So, halimbawa, ito yung fraction natin. A over B divided by C over D. Naglagay lang tayo ng mga variables kasi hindi pa natin alam yung mga fractions na yan. Now, ang quotient daw dyan ay 2 third. So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng quotient. Siya yung sagot sa dalawang fraction na dinivide. Next. The divisor. Ito yung divisor. At ito naman yung ating quotient. So, anyway, doon muna tayo mag-focus sa ating divisor. Yung divisor daw ay 5 over 12 less than the quotient. Ito yung quotient. 2 over 3. Kapag sinabing 5, uh, 5 over 12 less than, ibig sabihin yan ay minus 5 over 12 doon sa quotient. At ang quotient natin ay yung Two-third. So, isolve muna natin ito. Sa subtraction of fraction, kailangan pariho yung mga denominator. So, hanapan natin ng least common denominator. Para sa detalye kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator, pwede nyo i-search nyan. At idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload o yung pinaka-detalye kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator. Tingnan lang natin yung mga denominators dito. We have 3 and 12. Si 12 ay ma-divide sa 3. So, therefore, yung least common denominator natin dito ay 12. So, kopihan na lang natin si 5. Yung minus sign natin. 12 divided by 3, and that is 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Kopihan yung denominator na 12. Yung mga numerators natin. 8 minus 5, and this is... 3. Itong 3 over 12, malis natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Meron ni tayong detalye niyan at pwede yung search Greatest common factor, idugtong lang yung lunalin. Now, ang greatest common factor dito ay 3. 3 divided by 3, this is 1. 12 divided by 3, this is 4. Therefore, yung isang fraction natin ay one fourth. So, yung divisor natin, ito ay one fourth. So, ngayon, kopyahin natin yung the rest sa ating equation dito. Yung equal sign, yung two third. Tapos, yung division natin. At itong a, b, gawin na lang natin isang variable. Gawin natin let n Para sa fraction na yan. So, kopyahin lang natin ito. We have n divided by 1 fourth equals 2 third. Para makuha natin yung value ni n, since itong si 1 fourth ay pang divide sa n, kapag matransfer, pang multiply na siya sa 2 third. So, this will be 2 third times 1 fourth. 
In other words, na multiply tayo ng one fourth to both sides para makancel out si one fourth jan. So anyway, n na lang ang natira. N equals two third times one fourth. Sa multiplication of fraction, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So two times one and this is two. Three times four and this is twelve. Again. Kailangan natin isimplify yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. So, n equals 2 divided by 2, and that is 1. 12 divided by 2, and this is 6. Therefore, yung isang fraction ay 1, 6. So, this is 1 over 6. I-double check natin. Kung tama ba... Yung mga fraction natin, yung isang fraction ay 1 6 at itong 1 fourth. Double check natin. 1 6 divided by 1 fourth kung 2 third ba ang sagot nito. Sa division of fraction, kopyahin lang natin si 1 6. Ang division maging multiplication at reciprocal dito sa divisor natin. This will become 1, ay 4 over 1. So multiplication of fraction numerator to numerator, 1 times 4 and this is 4, 6 times 1 and this is 6. Now, itong 4 over 6, masimplify natin yan by finding the greatest common factor which is 2. 4 divided by 2 and this is 2, 6 divided by 2 and this is 3. So, obviously, equal na yan siya. So therefore, Ang sagot natin dito, what are the fractions? Ang sagot dito ay 1 sixth and 1 fourth. Thank you for watching and all I hope meron kayo naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.